Alright, what's up YouTube? Um, well, today is Sunday and um, I'm back. Take a break for a little while. Um, some things has been going on in my life in which kind of never have vibe to make any YouTube video. It's been a couple months now, uh, but I try and put out some more videos so that I can you know some more tutorial videos for um, all my subscribers and um, potentially new subscribers well when all that said and done um, today I'll be fixing this PS4 controller um, there's a problem I think with the sensor you know we'll check it pull it up already um, Usually, you know, I'm not really like this pull up video, but let me see how I do this pull up video. You can see it's like some fluid or something getting to it. So, that gave me one eye problem. Um, the right analog stick, which is this one, when you push it to the, to the left, not really working that properly. So, I forgot most of the time I like a sensor on the um you know, might have an X name for you but we'll call it call it sensor. Make a sensor on the side. I get a problem so you have a look on that. No. Some little clips inside, yeah. Move the clip, one more clip right here. Seems to take out the board. All right, see, now this is the problem. This analog stick is a problem, usually. As I said before, sensor. No, not this one. This is what up, up, up and down. This one. A fingernail, but if it does, we don't have any fingernail. Use this a screwdriver. I mean, it kind of unbugging for um, work and recording. Alright, see right? Just push it back. Don't push it back too hard. It might break. Just push it back. Let me see now if I forgot to change the sensor. Alright. Give me a minute. May I get some light on this? Alright. You know, so far, this one is good still. I don't really know why is it not, um, why it not going moving to the left kind of stiff when you put it to pushing it to the left this analog stick feel good <coughs> there's something wrong with this sensor now if i will change it so um i will show you how to change it and then i will check the other sensor then in the meanwhile let me just check this too I can just use it when I shake it out. I use the screwdriver and gently remove it. Put this one side. Oops. Yeah. This one look good too. But this is not the problem. This one is. Let's remove left and right. No matter. Sit down. So. Zoom in a little bit that so you can see. Oh, yeah, um, kind of push back this a little bit. So, my clamp, 
What I'm going to do um, get one of the regular clamp them and then screw it down from my workbench. Alright, right there, so right there, screw it down with a regular drywall screw. Move it left and right. Let me zoom out a bit. See there? Move it left and right. So I'm going to clamp the board like this. Um, and then I do my work. So, give me a minute. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Let me out that. Alright. Alright. Sign it on. And side off them connection here. This one, so I think there's a problem with um, this section. Too. Uh, maybe my voice changed, but I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, this crack, so maybe this is a problem. Yeah, this split now. I like a trick for sure. You with this, um, so let me finish there something first and then. Let me show you. See, I get two in one today. As a matter of fact, let me do it now. Um, Cause that take a while for dry. One minute, I'll be back. Alright. Super glow. Right, this is not get sponsored by this. But I want Chinese super glow. Use the glove shoes and all of that stuff. No. What you, have to, what you have to do is that you are going to pull out this alright so this is for all of the persons who have the when you press the trigger the in it press then release press then release it, it's it, it's just acting funky so this is a little trick I'll show you if you start out a problem in it might be a temporary fix, might be a permanent fix. We still I test it out, figure it out the other day. Um now what you're gonna do is you're gonna pour some in this little hole, you're gonna pour some super glue. Make it dry and then it basically good as new. Now we can use this temporarily if you're gonna order it off of eBay or Amazon or wherever the rubber. Um you might have forgot getting that set not too sure when I mean, me can show it in there like this and everything all right however some persons might pour it heavy and then don't set it down properly oh yeah this is where you take out this clip this is a nine me just push up yeah push up on the other side too take it out i use a screwdriver my fingernail as i said before so it worked for me Take out this. You might go take off the trigger a while ago. Then you're gonna take out this little rubber. I prefer you take it out because we don't want to not send my message and so make a mash up on a controller. So take it out. See it? Split. This might be a problem well because um especially for the older controllers them. So you're gonna take the super glue and you're gonna pour little tip not a lot a little tip don't make it go back don't make it go on this side is there any problem you pour a little tip like that all right oh do yeah, like this all right then you're gonna rest it aside don't do anything rest it down carefully rest it aside make it dry Make it dry. Oh, um, if you put a little bit too much, well, they think this all right. But if you put a little bit too much, yeah, a screwdriver, so, and just basically skim it from the top like that, right? Make it coat it, right? Skim it. 
Yep. Careful again. Don't make it go underneath. Just rest it down carefully and don't glow up your hand. Uh, yeah, hold it one time when you glow up your hand. Me for glow up my foot one time. So, alright. Back to the old control of motherboard um, sensor thingy. Now, this is when we get this is what annoy me with the PlayStation 4 control. When you take off one of them, the, the solders, these, them tough. And them have caused a little problem if you get off. Um, usually, we can use the heat solder iron, use the solder iron, the solder so can clean it up. Sometimes, I go as far as to use. Um, my e gun. Why I like use the e gun is that the e gun tends to melt up these plastic inside the controller. So most of the time I have to fight it with the solder iron. No. See, put it on my clamp. Be careful though, because you don't really want to wreck them switch and the prints on the clamp where you have. No. Ready? Put it right here. Alright. Alright, then you can work on the control. Room side of sucker. Pause the video a little bit. I look for my side sucker. Right, now I'm fine. My side sucker. This is my side sucker. Um, I'm beat up, but I do the work. I'm going to do the cap for that glue, y'all. All right, let's get to work. I have to make sure you saw the sucker clean because sometimes my sucker roll it past and block the wall and it now gets pumped properly. Um, all right, this is not set properly. Well, let's set it properly. All right, this one like it. Nobody can see. Now I'm going to solder the tip. Um, Unsolder it, I should say. I'm comfortable with this. Yeah, see? You can turn. Get the option to turn it any way you want. Now, we're going to have our. I want to get it as close as possible. I'm just my camera. I see my big belly, but I apologize for that, eh? Right. Oh, the next step, um, something to make it even go faster, um, use solder piece or solder flux. Alright? Ask me if I'm brand, I don't know, but I have this for years now, so. See, see the container dirty. Um, I'm going to go look it up and put a link on or the name of it what I use so I'm going to put a little tip and I really need all the money I use all the place look at the tip here, look at the tip here let's start with the tip alright next thing with this solder of paste this solder of paste stick up your yeah um the solder sucker I clean the tip of the side of this. This is how I'm use this. So we are going to clean mine. Alright, now some people use sponge. This is my, my way of doing things. Alright, melt it up. So I tell you I don't like it, you know. Nice thing. Alright, let's set this up. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna save it. Your next method I'm gonna do. Take out use just do like this. And you suck out them them work properly. 
the next time I'm going to warm time to come out so put some salt upon it lad it all over the place this is my technique um, lose everything one time come on man and just pull it out Because sometimes we come out this man. See, problem and the man is a fatty what's all I am and some sort of the problem. Alright. Can't buy with this. But do this for your owners. Yeah? We are somewhat a professional or uh, self-proclaimed professional. So self-proclaimed professional. No. I'm an eagle. I can never find things that I want them for you. Uh, 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 and I'm a chair. Now, if this goes wrong, I have to change the analog stick. And, um. Yeah, I'm going to build a customer for you because this guy is like a man. Yeah, I'm going to fail it and I have to change the analog stick. But usually. Uh, it was my ego. The next beat up on all you've done. Have this for years. So that's why it look like that. Now I apply some heat. Not plenty. I adjust this again. And then use the sauna sucker. My sucker for sardine. Now you have high and you have low. Turn it on the lowest lowest possible um, settings yeah, like that, right? now you yeah, have all it but do this at your pass kind of get nice do it at your own risk not responsible and what you're going to do is as i said before it might melt up the oops it might melt up the plastic in an analysis based on the amount of heat you apply because me need to do this faster, me use the heat gun. Now, low, set, low, low settings, and you're going to concentrate on this area only. Not here, this area only. Not here, this area only. Down the smallest tip, and then you, do, you eat up the something, you eat up the, the solder points. Telling us to put start the lower settings, but I gotta turn it up because I kind of know what I do. I gotta turn up the, the heat um, because it take too long. I'm mean, not a patient, but if you do it, it might take a little while. Use one of the lower settings, please. What I gotta do, I gotta pull out the, the, the sensor, then use the solder sucker and then clean up there, clean out the holes. There you 
go. It's a little thing. If anybody know you can get this to buy a loan without the whole complete analysis, let me know in the comment section. And sometimes this is the main thing I need for change, not the analog seat, just this. Ah, uh, yeah, then I'm gonna put it back for a lot it and clean out them all you know. Alright, um, yeah, that's it, clean, now, let me examine this thing, um, get, get some breeze on it, one minute. See, the top one, now, metal is a little bit. A little bit at sale, but may I make it cool down and then um, we can do my work because it's too hot. I don't want to work the metal, no, I don't want to move up the country. I may rack it. You know, see that yet? Make it cool and then um, we can change the sensor. Now, this one and the other one, you can change the sensor. Now, if you don't have any analog stick if you don't have any sensor you can use it off my um, next controller and it's the same thing with the xbox one and the ps4 so i have an old xbox it's basically the economized version if you want to buy one i can use it off the xbox one no take it off of the um i take it off my xbox one controller yeah this is my controller here yeah? so i'm just showing you how for basically change but check the sensor first yeah because with juice and all of them something there this can cause it can cause this the controller to move me even see a class action suit that come out against Microsoft based on the um, controller design but sometimes I don't think it's really the control the sensor might go bad yes as you can see with the uh, that, that one say it basically gone bad the one may change but they have a next issue because the controller them from water juice fluids liquid any one of them something even you want to call it them cause that cause the controller for run because water get inside the um let me put on back the cap yeah let me show you this water run down through these sections and when you pull it down now the water go you get into this the juice get into this then dirt mix with the juice everything mix up together and it causes your controller for not moving properly run uh, whatsoever but with this case now the sensor gone bad now i got to change this I think the xbox board I have sensor in them I'm just show you in case you yeah, don't have any um no the board ain't good still so you have the uh, it's kind of the same process. I mean, if we are shown in this, you kind of pull it out, might edit it out, just pull it off from one Xbox One controller or something. I have a next PS4 controller. But again, be careful. So. Alright. See if I saw that a little bit easier for work with. Xbox One, them tend to be easier for work with still, so.
Again, be patient. Yeah, man, sometimes we go up a long way to and stuff. Yeah, that's my version. I'm changing these uh, um, Xbox One motherboard is a little bit better to work with when it comes to soldering. Yes, for a little bit different, difficult. Alright, got it. Now we're gonna clean up these legs. Now, let me set up like this one. Oh, this is the right way. This flat line. See it? See it? Right. This face up. So you're putting it back. Usually press down from this little metal here. And then you slide it in. That's it. Now, oh yeah, we'll examine this closer like how we just take it out and see if we miss anything. Alright, clean as a whistle. A clean whistle. Alright, straighten it out. And then we put it back in. Alright. Push it in. Don't saw that yet. Make sure it's properly in place. Alright. Then click it in. And then you do the soldering. You don't want to solder it first. Then try pushing this and it all around. You have to do everything back over from scratch. So, this part is part fairly easy. Then, I'm going to solder. Now, let me see if the crazy glue kind of take long to set up sometime. Yeah, it's still a little bit. Why put your finger on it? Use a little bit soft, see a more? Yeah, and I dry fully. So, make this stay and dry a little bit. And then we set up by the controller and test it. So that is how you change the um, sensor, as I call it, as, as I say again, if um, it's not sensor name, you can't give me a correct name for it. Me and them said one time, and I remember, it was like a technical name, but they call it sensor. This is how you change it. So I hope this tutorial help you. Um, and I'm not going to show you the testing and the controller because I know basically no set of work. Um, maybe there's some more problem with the controller. So, for time's sake, that's the way you change the sensor on your PS4 controller. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, 
as I say again, never start this some more video, some more tutorials and controller and some other stuff. So bear with me. Um, it has been a rough 2019. My wife died, and um, there are a lot of things going on in my life. But you now might not be an excuse. May I try put out some more video? Um, so we can help you help you guys fix your system control or whatsoever your day to day problem with your, your system or your control your devices I should say so I'm trying to find some tips and tricks I'm going to use for, um, to help you guys out but I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more subscribe for more like and subscribe you know help me basically support the channel so we can get to a thousand subscribers so we can start monetizing videos so thanks for watching thanks for spending some time with me and um that's it until next time